Hello, it's Guy here, and uh, you might have problems hearing me because of the wind, and I apologize for my squinting with the sun in my eyes, but we wanted to show you these old hot tar kettles. Um, that was the staple in the industry at one time for any flat roofs, this was the baby. Now we heat hot tar up to about 475 degrees, has a flash point at 575 degrees where it'll catch on fire. And uh, it's a good way to get hurt, burn the whole left side of my chest in my 20s. Anyway, if you look behind this right here, these are all our old kettles, still sitting. Um, they don't go out very much anymore. Once in a while this big one goes out because about the only place we're using these kettles anymore predominantly are uh, commercial buildings where we're replacing hundreds of squares of uh, roof. And by the way, a square is a 10 by 10 area. And uh, big commercial buildings can get your price down really well with built up roofing. It's still a staple in the industry in that area. More so on residentials, we would use uh, SA products or torch down products. Um, it's more cost effective to keep our price down because this big kettle costs money to take out and heat up, you know, 600 gallons of hot asphalt. Anyway, um, just wanted to kind of give you a little education on it, show you what they look like. And they heat up the hot tar and we pour it out the back or we pump it up. In this case, this one has a pump on the back where we pump it right up onto the roof. In the background, you'll see what's a low boy, the, the yellow barrel looking thing. And, we can pump all the asphalt into that and drag it around all over the roof. And we apply our roofing material in multiple layers. You have a separation sheet on the roof first, so you're not bonding right to the building. It allows for movement. Then you have two layers of inner ply that are mopped down. And then you have a mineral surface cap sheet that's mopped down. So you have several layers that are mopped down. Basically, the asphalt acts as a waterproofing adhesive. It's not a waterproofing roof on its own right. If you went up and you mopped a surface with hot tar, it'd just crack up like an old lake bed that's dried out. So you need a binder, and that's where the papers come in, and the layers is the paper are your layers that bind everything together with a hot asphalt as a waterproof adhesive. Uh, these roofs are still viable on commercial buildings. They last basically 15 to 20 years, depending on how many interply layers you have, whether it's a three ply, a five ply, or a four ply. Uh, so there's the whole thing in a nutshell. And uh, it's a kind of a dying art anymore, but it's still around, it's still a staple. And um, just wanted to share that with all of you. Thank you, see us at weathertightroofing.com. And uh, give us a call, 951-929-0557 if you uh, have any roofing needs. Thank you.